Have you noticed that recently your smartphone's got a lot better at recognising the things that you say? They used to be awful. OK, Google, phone my mum. OK, I am now phoning your mum. No. But now they're a whole lot better, and it's due to some advances in an area called machine learning. So machine learning is basically a way of getting computers to do something intelligent based on a whole ton of data. So it could be teaching them how to perform some complicated task, something that you couldn't just write out all the rules for, for example driving a car. Or it could be used to mine a big data set to find patterns and correlations that we wouldn't necessarily be able to find as human beings. And I found that People may have heard of the term machine learning, but they don't really know what it is. But it's a good thing to know about because we pretty much interact with machine learning algorithms every time we use our phone or go on the internet. They kind of dictate a lot of what happens in our lives. So knowing about what they do is a, is a good idea. So our smartphones interpreting our Voices is one example of a machine learning application, but there's many, many others. For example, Netflix or Amazon telling you what other things you might like to buy, your email being able to tell what is and isn't spam, Snapchat's face filters, Google or Facebook profiling you as a target for their ads based on the data that they've got on you, analyzing the stock market to find good portfolios, the post office being able to read your handwritten addresses. Mining people's location data to tell you where there is bad traffic on the roads. Self-driving cars knowing where the road is and what hazards there are. Amazon's warehouse robots finding the right stock. The army looking through satellite data to find structures in the middle of nowhere. Google working out all of our house numbers from their Street View images in medicine to diagnose tumours in medical images. Even Photoshop tools like Magic Wand or Auto Heal. And people like NASA interpreting data from telescopes to find extrasolar planets or plot routes with their Mars rovers. The list goes on. So, apologies for that barrage of information. Suffice to say, there's a huge number and an increasing number of areas that use machine learning to solve problems. But how do they all work? Let me explain. Let's take speech recognition as an example. Imagine you wanted to program a computer to be able to turn audio speech into words. You could sit down and try and work out all the different rules about how each kind of little sound adds together with other sounds to make words. But it would be impossible to do. You'd be there forever trying to work out all the different combinations, especially with all the different kinds of languages and all the different accents. So a much better way to do it is to get a computer to run a learning algorithm, which basically means you give it a whole load of examples of sounds of people talking along with all of the labels. So you record tons of people talking, then you get humans to label all of those, write out exactly what they're all saying. You feed that into the algorithm, and if everything goes well, your machine learning algorithm then learns the patterns and the correlations between all of the different sounds and all of the different words. So once the machine learning algorithm's done all of its training, you should be able to feed in some new audio from someone speaking without the labels, and it should be able to spit out all of the words that that person is saying. But training these machine learning algorithms is by no means easy. It's really hard to get everything right. There's many parameters and there's a lot of skills and little tricks that you need to know to be able to train them well. And there's a huge amount of resources being spent over the world in the biggest companies to try and make these machine learning algorithms better because they're all in com competition, Facebook, Google, um, Amazon, they're all in competition with each other and the latest frontier is this machine learning. So it's kind of a very uh, relevant thing of these days to know about. Because um, even the best machine learning algorithms can get most stuff right, but there's always some fringe case where they don't know how to handle it. 
For example, even the most expert voice recognition algorithm might not be able to get every single regional accent of the UK. How much is one of them new trousers then? Because my last one fell down an hole, the silly bugger. Hey, so this was just an introduction to machine learning, and the example I gave is only one kind of machine learning. So let me know if you want to find out more. There's plenty more I could say on the subject, and if you've got any specific questions, just put them in the comments below, and maybe I'll do another video on it sometime soon.